Today, I'm going to be giving you the best settings for the NVIDIA app. Yes, if you watch to the end, these are going to boost FPS and give you zero input delay when gaming. This goes for literally any game and even your system generally. And what's really good about this is if you guys remember the GeForce Experience app or you've seen the NVIDIA control panel, it's kind of like both of them combined. Just makes life a lot easier and this video is gonna make life a lot easier so drop a like subscribe let's get into it so i'm going to leave a link down below to go and download this i believe it might be on the microsoft store i'm not too sure but it's definitely on the nvidia website again link down below once you've downloaded it right here you want to open it it's gonna look like this now what you're gonna do don't be fooled this is says like creators artists you may think oh i make youtube videos i'm a content creator it's not the same thing this is for like developers and game artists so you want to use game ready driver Personally, I turn this off. Yes, it sounds counterintuitive. Optimize games, creative. No, we want to do this manually. So turn that off. And for the best performance, I also turn off the NVIDIA overlay, but we can get into that. Now you can just skip to app. You do not need to log in. Everything is going to save anyway. And we are going to start off in the drivers tab. Now, what I recommend for everyone is just to update to the latest drivers, especially if you have a newer GPU. All right, listen up, guys. You know how much I've spent on my Roblox account, and I know how much you hate dealing with overpriced game currency and sketchy exchanges. We've all had our fair share of horror stories, but I finally found the site I can trust. It's called Eldorado. Eldorado has completely changed the game for me. Every transaction on here is secure, so there's zero stress about being scammed. Plus, they have something called Eldorado trade shield protection which means they've got your back every step of the way i know we all want the best currency rates and with eldorado i get my game currency fast like in just a few minutes fast they seriously have some of the lowest prices i've seen and i'm saving a ton compared to other places and when it comes to in-game cosmetics same deal they've got everything you need to deck out your locker and i'm not the only one talking about this check out these trust pilot reviews thousands of gamers just like me are giving eldorado top marks it's legit their support team online 24 7 if you ever need help, it could be 3 a.m. They're ready to answer any questions and I've got a money back guarantee. So it's pretty much risk free. Either you get your order or you get your money back. Simple as that. So if you're tired of overpriced game currency and want a trustworthy place to safely exchange in-game cosmetics, check out Eldorado.gg with a link in the description. And you can use code Fetch at checkout for an exclusive discount only for you guys. Now, a lot of people do claim that there are certain drivers that give you lower input delay. They give you generally better performance. And yes, whereas it is true you know when a new driver drops sometimes they can be a little bit unstable it doesn't just instantly render any of the latest or newest of drivers bad it simply just means you know wait a bit let's say a new driver drops give it a week give it two weeks and if they haven't rolled it back and no one's reporting any issues on like reddit or just generally speaking you'll probably hear about it and again for the most part if they don't roll it back or they haven't dropped a new one very very soon afterwards to patch anything then yeah just update it just go and download the newest latest drivers for example in my case this latest one right here is on august 28th if I go down here, it is actually the 4th of September. So we've gave it about a week so I can comfortably download this. And in some cases, you may want to do it even sooner, you know, here, like if you're getting certain issues, for example, it said that certain monitors had random flickers on HDMI, you know, in this case, if you're having the issue, just instantly update it. Honestly, it will solve the issue, get you all good. And also here, for a lot of you that are probably playing the new Marvel Avengers games, uh, you can see it was crashing on desktop before this driver so yeah installing this fix that and now moving down to graphics this is where it gets a little bit spicy you can see in program settings we have now individual controls for every game we do have this in the video control panel but this just kind of streamlines it a bit and makes it a little bit easier so what it will do is it detect your games so fortnite valorant roblox you know it will kind of just have everything here um actually i don't even know if this is detecting it i'm on an os where i'm pretty sure i don't have fortnite installed but it's on here anyway which is pretty interesting i don't think it actually lets me change anything though i guess that's the difference oh it doesn't let me change the in-game settings i see i see it lets me change only what's in the graphic driver that makes sense but what i'm saying here is you should have all your games and if you don't you can click this little three dots here and you can just add a program it's quite simple go like this you want to go to your program files and you should find it within your c drive so program files c drive or program files the x86 i cannot speak in my case i actually have it on a different drive entirely and have a little games folder mine's very neatly organized but it will look something like this for fortnite there'll be a fortnite folder you go fortnite game binaries win64 and it will be this one right here fortnite client that's win64 dash shipping.exe i know very confusing for valorant it'll be in riot games valorant live and then it's this one's a bit simpler valorant.exe and also if you have on your desktop your application you can right click go to properties and usually you'll have an option here called 
open file location and it will basically just show you exactly where it's installed. And in the case of this, you can right click kind of like or like click into here like this, copy, go here, go here, go back to add a program, click here, control V for paste press paste and then it will take you to this directory here and you can just add it. But yeah, once it's added, you want to change some of these settings here. Now we're going to do this in the global setting. What that's going to do is it's going to change it for every game. So we're doing a base optimization and then for particular game optimizations, I have different videos on that. I have an entire Fortnite one. I have one that's dedicated to Roblox. So if you play either of those games, I'll link them down below. But regardless of that, you want to first just have these base settings that supports your entire system. And as for in-game settings, it's a cool feature to have and be able to kind of tweak them here. But I'd always recommend watching a video that's dedicated on in-game settings, doing them in the game itself. I also have videos on that for Roblox and Fortnite, so you can check them out down below. But going over to global settings, there's going to be quite a bit here. You also want to show legacy settings or give you even more, which is very, very cool. And yeah, let's start off. So RTX Dynamic Vibrance, if you click info, it's going to tell you exactly what this is. This uses AI and particularly on RTX cards. So you may not have this if you have a 20 series. Uh, I believe that is not RTX. I might be wrong. But if your card is not an RTX card, it's a GTX card. I think like a 1080 and stuff. You're not going to have this. And even if you do have this, you don't want to use it because the truth is it is going to worsen your performance. Uh, anything that uses AI or uses anything in the back end and it's just using up GPU performance is not good. Uh, it boosts visual clarity. Yeah, your game's going to look better, but it's going to run worse. And that's just the sad reality. So have this turned off for better performance. Q to GPUs. You want to just select your actual GPU. It should automatically be selected here. Going down, DSR factors. It's going to tell you what it does. It's dynamic super resolution. Again, improves the quality. Oh, yeah, you already know. We want to turn that off. Smooth motion. Again, uses AI. Make sure that's off. Low latency mode. Now, this is a little bit tricky. Um, it kind of tells you some typical usage scenarios, which is cool. We haven't had this before with the NVIDIA control panel. It's kind of a no-brainer that you'd use Ultra if you have both V-Sync and G-Sync enabled or vice versa, but you don't, and most of you don't. And I don't advise using either of these because they are, for the most part, going to affect your input delay in-game. So in this case, and you don't have a really terrible monitor that's, you know, 60 hertz and you're getting below 60 FPS. So in the case you're not using V-Sync, yeah, just have this on on. Honestly, Ultra is going to do the opposite. It's going to stress your game more and in turn will lower your frames in some cases, which will then give you worse latency. You can try these out. Um, it doesn't hurt. Every system different. But my general recommendation is just meet in the middle here. It's going to help. Obviously, don't have it off though. Image scaling, have that off. It's going to, you know, kind of, if you have a worse quality monitor, you sharpen it and it makes it look a little bit better and it kind of like renders it up, you know. Again, it's improving quality. It's not going to be good. Turn it off. Max frame rate. Don't want to set a cap on this, so have this turned off. If we do any like FPS caps, it's going to be in game. Open GL, GDI compatibility. You want to have prefer performance. Ignore Vulkan right here. We're not going to use that. Power management mode. You want to prefer maximum performance. Yes, we want the maximum performance. That's why you're on this video. Turn that on. Shader cache size. For most of you, a safe value would be probably 100 if you don't want to be a little risky. But for the most part, I've never had an issue. In my entire life, I've never had an issue on Unlimited, especially if you're updating your drivers. Because every time you update your driver, this actually gets reset. And that's going to be like very, very regularly if you're keeping on top of it, which you should be. And then you're not going to have an issue. And also on that note, when you update your driver, assuming you've done that this video, when you first launch your game, your shader cache is rebuilding. And that can actually give you worse performance temporarily, maybe for like, I don't know, throw a number out there, 30 minutes, right? So play the game a bit. And then after like maybe an hour of gaming, then do an actual performance test. Don't update your driver, then go down in the comments and say, oh, my performance is worse. It's because your shader cache is rebuilding. It's going to subsequently be better, but give it time. Vertical setting, this is VSync. Have this off unless, again, you have a really, 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 really bad PC and you're struggling to even get 60 FPS on a 60 hertz monitor. Virtual reality, yes, we have these off. All of these off. All of these. Physics, you want to have this on your actual monitor. You have auto, CPU. Have it on your monitor. Well, sorry, your GPU. My brain's fried. Texture filtering and a strop. Anios, I can never pronounce this, and anisotropic sample optimization. Have this on on. You can try out both, but for me, on is actually somehow help my performance. Negative LOD bios allow. Taste your filtering quality, high performance. It's up to you. You can have it on performance. It's, we want high performance. And trilinear optimization, again, on typically gives better performance. It does actually say that right here will give you high performance with minimal loss in image quality. And off will give you better image quality. Now, this is kind of like one of those gotcha, like trick, uh, trick settings. You'd think having it on would be worse because for the most part, turning things off 
tend to be better in terms of like quality wise and textures but no this is different having it on will give you both of these will give you better performance and that is actually everything now if you want something a little bit more uh i guess extensive again you'd want to watch my dedicated videos for fortnite roblox and then maybe my in-game settings as well um two different things and also because this program is new the nvidia like legacy control panel does have some extra things in very very few but there's a little bit more you can do with this and i have a whole video on that so after this go and check it out just to make sure you didn't miss anything but these programs should sync so whatever you change in the nvidia app should have also updated here oh and also what is cool is that you don't have to actually apply the settings anymore with the nvidia control money you have to click the little apply button in the bottom yeah just changing it like the value here it automatically applies which is quite cool i'm uh, moving down to system again i have no g-sync no v-sync going into display properties make sure your resolution is on your native uh resolution for your monitor mine's 1080p most of you will be 19 20 by 1080 refresh rate have on the maximum orientation landscape uh i mean i can't imagine anyone's playing on portrait but who knows let me know in the comments scaling you want to have no scaling or if you're using a stretch resolution you want this on full screen and as for your scaling device gpu is going to scale off your gpu driver which is going to give you lower uh worse performance and a increased input lag so increased uh, delay which is bad so if you can not every monitor is going to have a display driver to scale from you want to have on display and if again if you can't if you have an older monitor it means you probably need to upgrade your monitor to be honest you'll have to use gpu and just buy the bullet i'd recommend also taking this override scaling mode set by games and programs so it doesn't try and force you onto gpu and this right here does literally not matter whatsoever now colors this is what i'm using i don't know if it affects performance to be honest i also have it on the nvidia mode so output color settings nvidia it lets you customize it so i have these settings obviously use rgb you want to have the highest color depth this have on eight and output dynamic range is on full limited will give you worse colors i haven't actually tested if this creates a performance increase or decrease i'm pretty sure it doesn't I, th I think it's totally on your monitor it's just a visual thing and this just looks a lot better and also wouldn't really mess with your color channel i guess the only thing i would change or could but like this again is preference you can adjust your digital vibrance i used to have one on like 97 or like between 70 and 90 and it makes everything just look a bit more vibrant it makes your game look a little better it's it's just nice on the eyes you know and in system moving over to video hdr disabled you'll get worse performance super resolution off again you can have worse performance with both of these these are only for rtx cards so you won't have this if you have a 1080 for example performance this is essentially overclocking and i'm gonna make a separate video on this so stay tuned for that it'll probably be my next upload and then my rig yeah these are my specs so yeah uh enjoy oh and that's actually really cool i didn't realize it actually is access to the nvidia control panel through the software that's that's cool and last but not least in settings right here these do not matter your language is not gonna affect your performance the theme don't matter i usually do system actually ideally uh it's up to you if you have this on right here drivers it can install while you're playing video games and that could affect your ping and it again runs things in the background so also your performance like your fps as well uh if you're gonna check it regularly have it off but if you don't trust yourself, uh, just keep it on. This literally, do not worry about this right here. Notifications, you can turn all of these off. And I know I said to turn it off, but if you're going to use the NVIDIA overlay, what you want to do is turn it on, click here or press Alt-Z to open the overlay. And if you go to settings here, I'm going to give you the best for performance. Go into video capture, turn off desktop capture, ideally if you're just using it for games. Like if you're not capturing like funny moments on Discord or something on your actual, you know, display, and you only want to use a game capture, you don't need this. It's going to really affect your performance. So at least turn this off and then just use it to clip highlights for your game. It will record in the game. It just will not capture your entire like display. So like when you're just, you know, recording like I am right now. But yeah, ideally turn that off. This really, uh, I'd say this right here, the higher you have it, the worse it will be on your performance. So try and have it as low as possible. But of course, like, I don't know, you want to, sometimes you forget and you get a cool highlight. I have mine like an, on like a minute. I think that's kind of a safe range. Quality, of course, the higher you have this is going to be worse on your performance. But honestly, if you have a mid to high tier PC, it doesn't really matter too much. You can kind of just actually follow your spec. So I guess, look, mid tier, go medium. If you have a high end, use high. And if you have a low end, go low. Use the same resolution you have in game and FPS don't go above 60. This is super overkill. And anything lower than this is just going to look horrible. And bitrate, I keep mine on 60. If you have a really, uh, really bad internet, and especially if you don't have an ethernet, uh, set it to like 30. 